Assume that you are preparing a new recipe. You have added potato, egg and some magic masala. You are tasting it and it is delicious. Now out of excitement, you are adding some more ingredients. Let's say you have added a few grams of ginger and you are tasting it now. This time, the dish tastes awful and you have ruined the entire recipe. Now you have to throw it away, prepare the entire recipe again from scratch to get back your previous recipe. It's a waste of time, right? Now what if there is some way to get back your previous recipe without starting all over again? That's exactly what Git is used for. Let's say you are working on a project. In the first version, you have certain features. In the next version, you are adding few more features. If the new features are not good, what will you do? One way is to take a backup of version 1 and add the features. If it turns out to be not good, then you can simply discard the newer version and get back to the older version. But instead of having a copy of each version and maintaining it separately, you can use Git to do the same. Git is a more powerful tool that simplifies this task for you. It maintains all the versions of your project, shows you which part is updated and what it is for, and keep track of all the code changes made in your project.